Hi guys, hope you're well and welcome back to another cleaning video. Today I am doing some spring cleaning. This place really needed a good clean before I went away for the evening and there was so much that needed to be done that just hadn't been done in a while. Things like my washing and all bits like that were mounting up so I really needed to crack on with those. And today's video is also in collaboration with my friend Tiffany. Tiffany is an amazing mama just like me. She has two sons and she also has an adorable little girl as well, Ella. Super cute. She also does lots of lifestyle content over on her channel, so very similar to mine. She does cleaning videos, decorating, cooking, vlogs, and she's also doing a spring clean and decorate with me video as well. So once you've watched this video, I'd love for you to go on over and check her out because her videos are amazing. I'm obsessed with her. So I will leave her channel linked in the description box below and don't forget to tell her that I sent you over as well. And if you've come over from Tiffany's channel, hello, welcome. I'm sure she's already done a mini introduction to me, but my name's Ellis. I love to do cleaning videos, interiors, hauls, parenting, lifestyle, travel, you name it. The law of attraction and self-care is so much what I'm into at the moment. So if you like that sort of thing, then I would love for you to come on over, watch this video, like this video and subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. But I'm gonna crack on this morning and start with my cleaning and I'm starting up in the living room. Now I was filming this morning, I had some content that I had to get done. So as you can see, all of my camera equipment and all stuff like that is out. And the boys were playing in here this morning and we was in a mad manic rush. So normally I always make Clayton and Parker tidy up their toys before they go off to nursery but I just didn't have time this morning. So I'm going through and I'm tidying it up and I'm actually having a good sort out through their kitchen stuff. I do this about once a week, it just gets a bit crazy. Sometimes I'll do it more often. And I'm also just chucking out some of the toys. It's gotten a bit crazy recently and I just feel like I haven't really had the time to kind of deal with it. So I'm just gonna go through and tidy up all their toys as well. Looking for someone who can play though, wanna hang with me. I'm not really looking for a friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone not afraid of Give it all to me Get next to me, get next to me All that I want is to get next to you, get next to you Not asking for much, but it feels like the two of us are gold And they're gold, you see What do you good, so take a chance, take a chance on me It's magical when you are close, so get closer, babe What do you good, cause I am gold and I'm gold Now, before I start any actual cleaning, I like to make sure that everything is kind of tidied away and all cleared up. And now that I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and dust down all the areas around the living room. So I'm gonna start on the fireplace. I've got the tables, just everything that accumulates dust. I'm gonna go around and give a good tidy into because it's my bugbear to see dust. And I have a lot of glass in my living room as well. So as you can imagine, it's like a dust catcher's paradise as such. So I'm gonna get all that done now. Get me. 
do is wait for you. I'm standing and I'm not breathing. Why can't you forget the reason you left? You tend to hide your feelings. Yeah, you keep thinking it's right to keep a distance. It's like nothing I do is enough. I've been I don't know about you guys but I just can't go away and leave the house messy and have it untidy I'm only going away for the evening and Adam and the boys my husband and the boys are still going to be here but I know that they'll make it a mess but I just have to have it tidy in my head I hate leaving anywhere messy what do you guys do let me know in the comments below if you have to have all of your home completely tidy before you go away for a weekend or for a road trip or on a holiday or anything like that but one of the things that I need to do and I normally try and do this on a weekly basis is clean under the sofa cushions these get so dirty I have kids they have crumbs there's toys and we don't even really eat in the living room either so I don't know how they get so messy I try and do this weekly but again how often do you do that because I know some people just don't bother in ages and I see some people's sofas they have loads of stuff underneath them if you're one of those people, then I'm challenging you now to go on ahead and make it your one mission today, your one cleaning mission, to go on under your sofas and hoover them out and give them a good old clean. You never know, you might find some treasures, some coins, a bit of money, um, some old kids toys, and you might be shocked by how disgraceful they are if you don't do them often. And like I said, even if you do do them weekly, it all builds up. everywhere is hoovered and it's tidy I'm just going to go around and do a few little extra bits so there was actually still a slight bit of a tag on this buffet that I have in the middle of the room and there was also a loose fray so I'm just cutting that off I'm also going to go around I've got some Febreze fabric spray so I'm just going to go around and freshen everything up in the room with that and once I'm done there I'm going to move on into the kitchen now the same principle applies in my kitchen I always like to clear all of the work surfaces first and then I move on to the actual cleaning now I've actually just done a deep cleaning video for here which I'll be sharing with you soon so it's not going to be a deep clean in here today 
but I've just had to put my hair up. I'm sweating. I don't know why I decided to wear a jumper this morning. I knew I was filming this video. I knew I had a lot of cleaning to do. Um, but yeah, you know, I did it anyways. So yeah, you know I'm in business when my hair goes up. So I'm going to go around and clean everywhere. They were some muffins, as you probably saw, that I burnt the other day on cooking. I had to do two batches um, so Clayton could bring some into school because he really wanted to share it with his friends. And now I'm just going to finish off tidying and then I'm going to clean around all the work surfaces, the table. I'm also going to clean around the high chair, pop everything in the dishwasher, wash up whatever can't be in the dishwasher. From my decluttering video, I've got loads of like these containers on the side that I need to sell that I'm no longer using. Um, so yeah, I just need to kind of get rid of a few bits. And this is actually probably the first cleaning video that you guys would have seen me done, whereby I have no high chairs in my kitchen. Oh my gosh, this feels like such a momentous moment. And I'm sure so many mums out there will agree with me. We have finally gotten rid of the high chairs. Parker is now on this little booster seat. It's an ingenuity or ingenuity booster seat, I think it's pronounced. So I will leave it linked below for anyone that's interested. I hunted high and low for one that would fit perfectly under the table and would work for us. And this one is fab. And so many of you guys have also questioned me about my chairs and if I'm worried about them getting ruined. And I'm gonna clean them up in a little bit, but they actually clean up really nicely. So I wasn't worried at all. There's no going back, no going back. There's no going back to your own life. Living in the past. I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights. spring as well I also went ahead and bought some tulips tulips and daffodils are just like one of my favorite spring flowers I also love peonies but I find them really hard to keep in the home and keep them alive um tulips don't generally do too well either but I heard a little hack that if you pop a pin prick in the bottom of them it makes them last a little bit longer but I'm just going to pop these in the vase for the time being I will go ahead and cut them a bit later on but I just wanted them out for the time being because they were getting a bit droopy where I'd had them from the shop and I'd left them on the side whilst I was filming this morning so I'm just going to pop them out and then once I've done this I'm also going to go ahead and clean under my oven hob or my stainless steel now I put out on my Instagram a little while ago which is at Mrs E Smith and Co I'll leave everything on the screen for you but I popped over there that I was having some issues cleaning that my oven seems to clean up perfectly on the stainless steel but my hob is just struggling with smears and I have tried so many stainless steel products but I finally found something that works and it's elbow grease. Using a bit of elbow grease, spraying that on and then using some stainless steel cleanup really seems to help 
clean up this area and hardly leave any streaks whatsoever once I buff it all in. So I'm really enjoying using this at the moment. And like I mentioned earlier on, I'm now gonna show you how I clean up these velvet suede chairs. So as you guys already know, and you've seen me use many a time, I am a massive advocate of the Dr. Beckman carpet stain remover. And this works perfectly on this material. I also find this material just doesn't seem to stain and everything kind of wipes off really easily. So if you're worried, I really wouldn't. I was petrified at the beginning, but once I got a little bit of mess on them from just me and my husband using them and I realized how easily they washed up, I wasn't so worried. So now everywhere has been hoovered, I also need to do a humongous declutter of this drawer here. Now this drawer just has all of our shoes and since we had it built about four or five months ago and installed, it has just been a catch-all for all of our shoes. There's so many in here that are muddy, that are dirty, that no longer fit. There's just so much stuff. So this needs a good reorganization, a declutter, throw out what's no longer needed or put away bigger shoes that would be good for Parker or whatever it may be and then give it a good hoover. I regularly declutter and minimize my home. It's something that I've been obsessed with for quite a few years now. Having a minimalist home for me, I really enjoy it. I find it easier to clean. I feel like I'm more organized. I know where things are. 
And I know that I've mentioned recently, but I've been officially diagnosed with OCD. And I think this is one of the reasons why I like to keep my home as minimal as possible. And I have lots of content over here on my channel of me decluttering my bathroom and my bedrooms and kitchens and all things like that. So if that's your kind of vibe and you like that sort of thing, then I will leave those videos linked below so you can go on over, check them out because I'm sure they will give you ultimate cleaning and minimalization motivation. Now, I normally always start my cleaning routine upstairs. So I always like to work top from bottom and I just feel that way I can bring everything down that is upstairs and vice versa. And that way I can wash up bottles and cups and all things like that. However, today the downstairs was so overbearing and it was kind of really kind of poning in on me as such that I just felt like I had to get the downstairs done before I moved upstairs. I'm also just gonna give everywhere a quick hoover and then I really felt like the windows needed to be done in the downstairs living room. Oh my gosh, the boys at the moment are running backwards and forwards. They're up at the doors all the time. They think it's hilarious. So I'm giving those a quick clean. And as you guys will see, our garden is in the process of being done. There's a little cheeky sneak peek at the garden, but there will be a garden reveal video coming hopefully this week on my channel. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And then the last thing that I wanted to do was spray all of my carpets. Now I know that I'm finished in here for the next hour or two whilst I go upstairs and clean. I know no one's going to be down here. So I'm just using the carpet care on them, which makes the living room smell amazing. And this is their newest scent as well, which I will leave link below. I can't remember the name of it. I want to say Mandarin or something, but I'm not sure. And now I'm moving up to the bedroom again, just changing all the bed sheets, getting them all clean. I always get so many questions as well saying that I don't have a mattress protector and I do, but it's a fitted mattress protector and it looks like another under sheet. So for anyone that's worried, don't stress, I do have one. And we've also got some new pillows to put on the bed today. I regularly swap out my pillows completely so that they're puffy, they're bouncy and all things like that. So new pillows are going on and I cannot wait to have clean bed sheets to get into this evening. I've been walking down the street like an alien They say time will heal but I don't have patience You packed your things, now we begin the erasing All the memories slowly start to fade in The days move so slow, I know I gotta go But I can't, but I can't, I can't get anywhere Cause I'm still My phone, I don't want to face it Everything feels wrong and there's no replacing What we had is gone and it's all too late and I'm better off but I can't deal with this aching The days move so slow, I know I gotta go But I can't, but I can't, I can't get anyway Cause I'm sick I can't deal with this aching I 
I just feel like at the moment there's so much junk in my bedroom and I was actually cleaning my makeup brushes last night as well so as you can see all of my makeup brush stuff is here and there's just loads of stuff everywhere the next thing that I need to do is the laundry and oh my gosh I didn't want to do this this is basically Adam's fault I'm blaming it all on him I sorted out the washing only what about a week or so ago and basically all of his went into a basket and I put all of mine and the boys away and basically he didn't sort it out and then the other washing basket was being used so basically it ended up getting piled up and then because I had no baskets they just kept going on top of each other so there's like four loads of washing here now all mounted on top of each other that I now need to resort and I guarantee you even at the point of doing the voiceover for this video he still won't have done it. Does anyone else have husbands that just keep clear of the laundry at all costs? <laughs> That's definitely my husband. But yeah, I'm just going to work my way through this laundry now and then go pop it into the boys' bedrooms and give their rooms a little bit of a tidy up as well. You know it's way too blessed Clayton recently as well so Clayton is my oldest little boy he's just turned four and this was his attempt at making the bed this morning he's popped his sheet round the wrong way bless him and then my footage obviously just disappeared for whatever reason um but yeah he's been making the bed but he made the blanket with the duvet the wrong way around which I thought was super cute um, but yeah, I'm just sorting out all of his washing now. This wardrobe is one of the things I need to declutter. We've recently moved it into his bedroom from my dressing room and from my office. And basically I haven't had a chance to sort it out. So that is definitely on my list. I was planning to today, but I just had so much to get done that I didn't get round to it, which I'm a bit annoyed about. But he was moaning at me this morning that his pajamas were in the wrong drawer. And I was like, who did that? Turns out daddy had done it. Daddy had put pajamas in all sorts of drawers and Clayton couldn't find out where they were. Both of my boys are a bit of a neat freak, just like me. And now I've sorted out all of the washing, the last thing for me to do is to go around and hoover all of the bedrooms. And then once I've hoovered all of the bedrooms, I need to put on a load of laundry. I'm going to put this on a delayed start so that it's ready. So when Adam gets home, it will go off. He'll hear it going off. He'll have no excuse not to hang it out. And that way another load of laundry will be done and it won't have to wait for me to get home the following day. 
And that is everything that I had time to clean today. I wish I could have cleaned for longer because there was so much more I wanted to get done. But if you guys like this video, then I would love for you to give it a thumbs up. If you're new around here, then I would love for you to comment below and let me know that you're new so I can say hello and welcome. And I'd love for you to check out all of my other videos that I do on my channel. Like I said, there's lots of interiors, lifestyle, cleaning, travel. There's so much that I feature over here. And once you've watched this video, I would also love for you to pop on over and say hello to Tiffany. Tell her that I sent you and go and watch her spring clean and decorate with me video. I believe she's gone full out. So go on over and check that out. But I will see you all again in another video very shortly. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.